But this right here, ladies and gentlemen, this is the new Kawasan Force. Cool with this, so we got ourselves like a little cave and in here too. Stabbing it up a notch and jumping off here. Oh my god! Here we go. Today, I'm coming at you from this beautiful place right here. Oh yeah, what a way to start the vlog. <laughs> so, yesterday I rented myself a scooter. So, this is my bad boy right here. I rented this for 350 pesos a day from mobile. I think you can get it cheaper, but just because it's so touristy now, they were sort of running out of scooters and I was getting desperate. But I've got a few things planned today. Um, I got a couple of things like pinpointed on the map that I want to check out. One being the famous Osmena Peak. So it's like sort of I just got to journey my way up in the mountains. But I think there's going to be a waterfall along the way. Like as I said, I'm just going to wing it. Just if anything pops up along the way, I might check it out. Just do the casual Brandon Bruce adventures. So let's hit the road, people. Okay, so quick update. I'm already lost. <laughs> I knew. I knew I was going to get lost at some stage throughout the day. It's just, yeah, like it, pretty much majority of the times I go out on scooter adventures or road trips, I always get lost. I just didn't realize I was going to get lost this quick. So good old Google Maps has taken me the wrong way and it has taken me the wrong way like 20 minutes, a totally different direction. So now I'm going to freaking go like 10 kilometers back just to get in the right position again. Oh, I'll get there eventually. Welcome to Cambias Falls. How beautiful is this place? So these guys right here, they're, they're my tour guides. They, I, I paid 20 pesos to park up and then another 50 pesos for entrance fee. And it was about like a 17 minute walk. Oh my God, look how beautiful this place is. This is amazing. And that right there too, it's like a natural water slide, but at the moment it seems like there's no water coming out of it. Oh my God. Only me, no one else. This would have to be the Kawasan Falls, I feel. This is just amazing. Right, it's the easiest way to get into the water. Take a loop, let's go! Woo! Oh, oh that's good. <laughs> Woo! How cool is this? We've got ourselves like a little cave and in here too. Wow, it's amazing. How far is this guy? So cool. Probably can't see anything right now, but I'm sweet all ahead like ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So cool. Yeah, 
All right, so it's seven and up and nice and jumping up here. Oh my God. Here we go. Three, two, one. Woo! Oh, oh my God, that was hard. Today. Go. Oh. Oh. Yes. That was nice. Okay, so it may be a little bit out of the way, sort of driving out through the mountains, but this right here, ladies and gentlemen, this is the new Kawasan Falls. This is way better than Kawasan Falls, like. This is like the main part a lot of people come to. So there's just a couple tourists here, but really not that much at all. And there's like three parts, three areas to this <clears throat> section as well. So like I started off in that first bit where you can, where you have your own waterfall and you can jump in the water and then you jump down again and then you come to this section here. Oh my God, this place is absolutely beautiful. And as I said, a little bit out of the way to get to, but 100% worth it. And <laughs> This just blows Kawasan Falls out of the park. Definitely check this place out. Okay, so one thing to take note about Kambias Falls is like when you first arrive, everyone's trying to bring you in and be like, okay, tour, you want tour, you want tour. I personally didn't want a tour. I said to the guys, like, do I have to, um, it's like, do I need a tour guy? And he's like, yes, you need one, you need one. I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess I will do it. And I kind of expected that I was gonna pay, so, until I arrived there, like when I saw that there was a bunch of people swimming around that area, I realized like, oh, okay, you, don't, you can just do this by yourself. But in a way, like I didn't mind having a tour guide. It costs 300 pesos, but like, because the guy brought me to that first waterfall where there was no one, like no one even knew about that little spot there. And he was sort of showing me areas um, to jump, like the best spots to jump off and like where the deep areas were. So anyway, it is kind of good. Um, and if you want to get yourself a tour guide just mainly because of that, definitely do that. But on the other hand, you can just go up yourself, just walk there without paying for the tour. And I highly recommend because you'll get to that one area where there's like all the people. And if you literally just walk up that little bit further, you'll have the other two spots for yourself. So right now, I am going to head to Osmena Peak. So I've got a long drive ahead of me, so let's hit the road, people.
welcome to the top of Mena Peak. How epic are these views? So I guess that's a wrap for me today. It is currently 3 p.m. right now, and I've got a long way to get back. Like it to Cambias Falls, that was like 45 minute drive. And then from there to here is like another 45 minutes. So I think I got like an hour and 30 minutes to get back to mobile. I really wasn't expecting this to just be a whole day just doing these two things, but it definitely is. Uh, you can spend a good good amount of time at the waterfall I was at today. And yeah, the views around here are just freaking stunning. Uh, but I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, and be sure to follow my next Filipina <laughs> and be sure to follow my next Philippine adventures because I think after here I'll be heading to Siki Hill. So thanks for watching. Follow your dreams. Escape your comfort zone. Bye.